Hello everyone. Today I am going to discuss the sixth problem of Ad Coder Beginner Contest 352, which is estimate order. So what is the problem? Uh, there are n people numbered from one to n. A competition was held among these n people, and they were ranked accordingly. The following information is given about their ranks. Each person has a unique rank, and uh, if person A I has uh, A I is ranked X and person B I is ranked Y, then uh, we are given X, Y, and C. So in the input, uh, we are given n and m. n is the number of peoples, and m is the number of informations. So each information contains a tuple of three integers, uh, ai, bi, and ci. That means the rank of ai and uh, minus the rank of bi is ci. Okay. So uh, let's take one example. Let's take this 5223543. Let's uh, copy this example here and try to understand what this problem statement means. So that uh, the problem statement means that uh, the rank of person 2 minus the rank of person 3 is 3. So what could be the possible cases? So let's say this is uh, the let's say the second person rank is 2. Then the third person rank will be 5. That is one possibility. Another possibility is the second person rank is 1. And the, uh, sorry, I think uh, I have uh, missed something. So not exactly the rank of the second person so let's call that r2 minus r3 is 3 so that means r2 is equals to uh, r3 plus 3 right so i have uh, made some opposite cases so the rank of the person 2 could be 5 then the rank of the person uh, 3 would be uh, 2 okay then another case could be rank of person 2 is 4 and the rank of person 3 is nothing but 1 so these are the two cases now for the second uh, second uh, information we have rank of person 5 is equals to rank of person 4 plus 3. So similarly the rank of person 5 could be uh, 4 and rank of person 4 could be 1. Similarly a uh, rank of person 5 could be 5 and the rank of person 4 could be 2. Okay. Uh, yeah. Right. So here you can see that uh, this could be one possible case 5, 2, 4, 1 or 2, 3, 4, 5 or it could be 4152 okay but uh, we can't uniquely identify the rank of person 2 person 3 person 4 and person 5 but here you can see that there are two cases right this is the first case and this is the second case in both the cases only one rank is remaining the rank is 3 so the person's uh, one's rank is 3 here also and here also so we can uniquely identify the rank of person 1 but we can't identify the other person's rank other people's rank so the answer could be the first people uh, person's rank we can identify so it would be three the other person's rank we can't identify so all these people's rank will be minus one i hope you get it i hope you get the first example now let's look at some observations so the first observation comes from the constants so the first observation comes from the constants the constant on n is 16 so what is the brute force solution that comes to our mind? The brute force solution that comes to our mind is that uh, iterate over all the ranks. So there could be all the all the permutations. You can take all the permutations of ranks. Let's say it could be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 or it could be 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 or there could be 5 factorial number of uh, cases here that we can assign those ranks. And after assigning those ranks, we can verify this information is satisfied or not. So the overall time complexity for our brute force solution is that we are uh, iterating over all the possible permutations and checking if the given informations are correct or not. So the uh, overall time complexity could be the brute force solution could be order of n factorial into uh, m. Okay, order of n factorial into m. But here you can see the constants on n is 16 uh, and the constants on m is around 100. So this is definitely not possible because six factor, 16 factorial could be greater than 10 to the power 9. Okay. So the first observation is the brute force solution. The time complexity of brute force solution is uh, not possible. So let's think about something more. Okay. So let's say uh, in the here this solution how we can uh, optimize the uh, our permutation solution. Okay. So let's say uh, we are trying to give a color or give rank instead of color. Let me call it rank. Uh, so instead of rank let me call it color so let's say we are trying to give uh, the color uh, to each each possible person in the sorting order sorted order 
So let's say we have given one uh, a, a, a color of four, and let's say we have given a, a person two a color one. Okay, and in the second case, let's consider that we have given person one the color of one, and we have given person two as color of four. Now, uh, let's consider the one and two are not affecting the other uh, person's ranks. Uh, let's say there are no conditions such that uh, there is a case where one comma x or two comma x, where x is greater than two, is there. I hope you get it that uh, this one and two are not affecting the other person's color. So what we can say that these two cases uh, are similar for determining the other person's color. So what I am trying to say is that uh, the color, uh, the number, the colors that are already taken uh, matters, but which color we have given to which person that does not matter. Okay, so the color we have already given is mattering, but the part, uh, color I have given to which people that does not matter. Okay, so that's why instead of iterating over all the colors, we can take one mask, bit mask. I hope you all know about this bit mask. So bit mask will be something like this. Uh, the first we have given the first color. Uh, so let's uh, take uh, a bit mask. So let's say there are five people. So we are given uh, zero zero. We have given the fourth color to one person, and we have given the first color to one person. So there are three colors remaining. So we can give these three colors to other people. Okay. So that's why we are maintaining some mask. Okay. Now what uh, another information we are uh, we need. We need the index, index of the current person. We need a uh, one mask that the colors already taken, and we need one index the current uh, which color will give the current person. Okay, now let's say, let's say uh, mm, there is a condition of uh, three comma two. There is a condition of three comma two. Okay, three comma two. Let's say two. Okay, so, and uh, let's say we have given the color four to the person two. We have given color four to the Person two. Now we we can say that uh, we can uniquely identify the color of three from the color of two. That's why we have to also maintain. Uh, let's say let's say we are uh, we are giving adding some color to a specific index. Then uh, the uh, other indexes which are getting modified by the color of the current index, which we will also have to maintain. Okay, so. Uh, we are doing some kind of bit mask DP with recursion. So our parameters are index comma mask. Okay, we our parameters of in, are index comma mask, and our time complexity of this bit mask is around order of two to the power n. And uh, and for every mask we have one index n, and for every index n we are doing some n square number of operations. So what our time complexity could be order of two to the power n into n cube or two to the power n into n square kind of. Which is definitely possible. So now I will jump into the code uh, and uh, I will uh, explain my approach along with the code. You will understand it better. Okay, so let's jump into the code. So here is the code. I am also maintaining one DSU. Why I am maintaining a DSU? I will explain. So uh, let's say what I am trying to say is that uh, let's say uh, we have we have marked the color of two with something. Let's say X. Now by this color of two. The color of three is also getting modified to y. Okay, now after iterating over two, when we are it, uh, going to index plus one, we are, let's say we are going to index plus one comma new mask. Now in the new mask, the color of three will also be taken because uh, we we can uniquely identify the color of three by the color of two, right? So index of uh, index plus one comma new mask. In the new mask, the color of three is already taken. So here. If the color of three is already taken, we don't have to uh, consider the color of three. That's why if if the uh, if three let's say some index uh, y let's say some index y is modified by something which is less than this index x, we'll uh, skip this index. We'll skip coloring of this index. So for that, I am maintaining one DSU. So DSU uh, DSU of i or DSU of i will identify the minimum value the minimum value of index the current index is connected to so here uh, in this case three is uh, uh, one is not connected to any index so dsu of one will be one now dsu of two is not connected to any index which is less than two so dsu of two will be two 
Now three is connected to two, so DSU of three will be two, and DSU of uh, four will be four, and DSU of five will again be four because five will be connected to four. That's why if DSU of y is less than y, okay, DSU of y is less than y, we'll skip the coloring. Now if the if, if this one if this is one case when we are skipping the coloring, and and another case will be that we have to color. Then we will iterate over all the colors. Which are not uh, taken in the mask, okay? Which are not taken in the mask, and we will try to color uh, the other. Uh, we will try to color the current index and all the uh, indexes that are connected to the current index, okay? Now, if the coloring is possible with the J, we will mark the color of I J as one. So we are maintaining another array, color of I J. Color of I J means if the uh, color of I J is one, means that the, we can color the index I with J color, okay? So that's what I am doing here. Uh, so uh, this is the this is the taking the inputs and we are maintaining one DSU. Okay. Now this is part is for the recursive bit mask degree. Okay. Now if I is the last index n plus one, we are returning one. So the coloring is possible. Now this part is for memorization. Now this is the first case when the DSU of I is less than I, we will skip the coloring because uh, we have already colored the current index. So we'll skip to recursion of i plus 1 comma mask comma t okay now uh, we are marking the dpi mask as 0 now for every possible value of uh, color from 1 to n plus 1 we are marking current current means that uh, which color we are doing uh, to the current index so let's say we are trying to uh, add color j to the index i so uh, correspondingly we will add some other colors to some other index that's why that's what we are maintaining in card so card uh, card k let's say card k means that the, what will be the color of k with this coloring okay so if is possible uh, i j i card and mask so i will uh, go to this uh, um, this function later so if it is possible to color uh, and uh, the let's say we are uh, we have colored this with j now our new mask will be mask now we'll, we'll iterate over all the values of indexes and if the current k so uh, current k means that the index k is uh, colored with the current uh, coloring okay so if current k then our new mask will be added to 2 to the power current k okay so let's say uh, we have added uh, in the uh, when we are colored coloring 2 we have also colored 3 with color 4 so we have to add 2 to the power 4 in the our current mask bit mask okay now uh, after our new mask uh, operation is done we are recursing i plus 1 comma new mask comma t now after this is done let's say our recursion is successful then we are uh, marking color k of current k is 1 okay so the current coloring is successful then so we are marking color of k current k as 1 okay now uh, let's go into the is possible so is possible means we are trying to color uh, with the value j so i will be uh, if i is not needed i have taken if i for something else for this i less than if i but we are all already maintaining this d dot find less than i so this this is not needed so you can skip this if i part okay so if j less than equals to zero so the color is less than less than equals to zero or the color is greater than n or the color is already in the mask will return false otherwise we are marking the current of i as j and uh, we are iterating over all the possible uh, neighbors of the current uh, index all the uh, possible indexes that are modified by the uh, current index and our new index will be u0 and w will be weight will be u1 now if current ni uh, that means the new index is already visited or the color of the new index is not j plus w we are returning false otherwise we are uh, doing some recursion on the is possible function with uh, new index j plus w if i is not needed okay i hope you get it uh, the is possible function so the the things things are over so we, we now have something like color of ij color of ij means that uh, if the color of uh, we can color index i with color j now uh, this is the part when we are determining the answer now if color of ij is uh, color of ij is 1 then we are marking count as uh, if count is uh, already not zero so let's say there are okay so uh, let me explain this let me delete these things okay so let's say 
let's say color of color of one one is possible and uh, color of one five is also possible so color one one is possible color one five is possible so when we are iterating on color one one we are marking count as count as one okay now when we are going to color of five this is also possible and count is not zero then we are we will be marking count equals to minus one because we can't uniquely identify if one is, is the answer or five is the answer now if color of five one comma five is uh, not possible, then our color value will be one. Okay, so that's what we are doing here. So if count is zero, uh, then count will be minus one. So answer instead of calling it count, you can call it color also. Okay, so answer I will be color. Okay, I hope you get it. This problem is quite interesting and it involves some concepts of DSUs and uh, also bit mask DP. You can have some doubts in uh, any part of the code because this involves everything so you can always cast your doubt in the comment section i will provide the link of the code in the description box uh, if you find this video helpful please like the video and subscribe to my channel thank you